Today's look is inspired by a picture that was sent to me of Kim Kardashian with very natural makeup. Now, I know that's not common for her because that girl loves her makeup, but this picture is very different. She has barely any eye makeup on. It's mainly just all mascara, and the focus is really on a lot of highlighting and contouring to make all of her beautiful features pop. So in this look, that's kind of what we did. We did a lot of highlighting all over the face. Um, we did quite a bit of contouring and we did this beautiful pink cheek with this pink lip and tons of mascara. It's very easy. This look is perfect for summer. Um, it's easy to do. It's quick and it looks beautiful. It's, um, it's very summer appropriate and it gives your skin this really nice glow, especially if you're tanned. To see the inspiration picture, check out my blog and the link is below. And if you want to see how this look is done, just stay tuned. I've applied a sheer layer of foundation all over my skin. I find that in the summertime, I don't really like wearing foundation as much, especially if I have a tan, but I do want my skin to still look even, so I like to wear a very sheer light foundation. And one of my favorites is the uh, Make of Forever Face and Body. Him in the picture has tons of bronzer on, so we're going to really bronze up the skin. The bronzer that I'm using is Laguna from NARS. You have a few options for brushes. You can use just a regular round brush, um, same thing as a blush brush, or you can use a contoured brush to really just kind of like get right in the hollows of your cheeks. So I'm going to start with a round brush. Just get that product on the edge of the brush. We really just want to contour out. So I'm just working the hollows of my cheeks up to my temples. You can go along your forehead if you want. You also want to go along your jawline. I like to bring it down a little bit just to blend it all in. You can also use this to contour your nose because I can tell Kim's nose is contoured. For this, I'm using a smaller brush. This, is, this brush is very similar to the 224 uh, from MAC. And I'm just... Um, lightly going along the side, the bridge of my nose. And I'm going to show you guys a really cool product, one of my favorite products to use for contouring and highlighting. Makeup Forever has these really cool contour palettes, and what it is, it's um, a dark color for contouring, like we just did, and then a light color for highlighting, and they come in four different shades I believe four different duo sets like this and it just kind of makes your life easier you know where you need to contour and then with the highlight color you apply it for any areas you want to highlight which are usually the opposite of the contour areas so if you want any area where you contour to stand out more you just add a highlight I like taking a bit of the lighter color as well and just Applying it in the inner part of my face just to give a bit of con highlight there. And if you really want this contour to pop, you could add a bit of the light color underneath to make it stand out more. So we've contoured and highlighted, but I do want to add more of a pearly shine, so I'm using um, this is a cream highlighter from MAC, it's called Pearl, and using the 224, just going to apply this down the bridge of my nose, get a nice highlight there. Bit on the top of my cheekbone area. So you can see right there how that's picking up the light a bit. Bit underneath my brows. We're still going to add blush as well.
I like to add a bit. So we are highlighted. <laughs> okay. One thing else I want to do with the highlighter, the same pearl highlighter that we were using. I do want to add a bit to my inner corners just to highlight this area. Just to give a pop as well. That's all we're really doing for eyes other than a ton of mascara like what she has. She has a really strong blush on. Um, one that's very similar to what she has on is Torrid by NARS. I'm going to start from the apples of my cheeks and then blending back towards my ear. That color is a pretty good match. Just to soften this blush and make it um, a bit more blended, I'm taking just a big powder brush with a bit of powder on it, and I'm blending out the edges. This brush is from brushlab.com. They have really, really nice brushes. I've done... Um, I did a review on one of my favorite hair brushes from them, so that'll be coming up soon. So that's really pretty. That should soften the look a lot more. I'm filling in my brows very softly with a light medium tone. Um, Kim's brows in this picture are really beautiful. beautiful. They're really nice and full, so I want to keep mine really full as well. So I'm kind of overlining just a bit. Um, I'm using lingering pencil from MAC. It's just one of those twist twist ups. And um, I'm just starting off by brushing down the hair. Extending the tip just a bit. Making the bottom just a bit fuller. But I'm super light handed so this doesn't come off too dark. There we go. Nice full brows. Next is lashes. I'm going to start by curling my lashes because she has false lashes on. But I want to do this look without putting false lashes on. Get it as close to hers as possible. I'm going to curl a few times because I want a really nice full curl. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Lashes are curled. And next I'm using the uh, Makeup Forever aqua smoky lash there you go <laughs> mascara which is a waterproof mascara and i'm just going to coat my lashes quite heavily starting at the base and wiggling it out just really work it into every single lash this mascara is good because it doesn't get clumpy and it makes your lashes look really nice and full. After I do that full coat, I'm going to take a smaller wand. This mascara is from Clinique. They have these really cool mascaras with really small wands. They're meant for the bottom lashes. And I'm going to run this through my top lashes one more time. Just to get every lash in there. And of course, to get a true Kim K look, we need to do tons of mascara on the bottom lashes. And the key to this is you don't want it to look clumpy because then it looks really, really bad. So you need to make sure you brush through the lashes very well. And I'm using that smaller mascara wand. I'm coating every lash. I want it to be really nice and thick. Next, I'm, I'm applying this color right here. No, this one right there. <laughs> um, I don't know what the name of this one is. I didn't write it down. It's, uh, 
Yeah, it's very close to what she has on. It's a really pretty pink. I wish I knew what it was called. That's what happens sometimes when you put them in a palette. That's so pretty. I can't believe I have no idea what that color is called. Over that, I am applying the Makeup Forever Lab Shine Lip Gloss in D10. Really pretty sparkly pink. That's pretty. That's pretty dead on to her color too. That's it. That is my version of Kim K's beautiful summer au naturel look. Um, it's very bronzy. It's very glowy, but it's a really beautiful look for every day. And it's really easy to do, but it looks fabulous. So thank you so much for watching. And um, if you haven't already, check out my Facebook page. If you have anything to send me, just send it through Facebook. And the link is below. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye.